Welcome to the RAPIDS video learning series, logging into RAPIDS and accessing user guides. Before we begin, I want to let everyone know that this presentation does contain audio, so please turn on your speakers or put your headset on now. Our learning objectives for today. After watching this video, users should be able to log into RAPIDS, know how to set up your authentication method, contact the help desk, and access RAPIDS user guides. So what is RAPIDS? RAPIDS stands for the Registered Apprenticeship Partners Information Database System. This serves as the primary system for managing apprentices, occupations, and other program information. So we, before we get started with creating your login, you will need to be added as a user to the sponsor program in RAPIDS. You can contact your program sponsor or your ATR who can assist you in getting added as a user to the program. As soon as you've been added, you will automatically receive an email from RAPIDS that looks similar to the one pictured here on the right. You will go ahead and click on my Create My Account button to access RAPIDS to create your login information. And just a helpful tip, once you've logged into RAPIDS, don't forget to save that to your favorites so it'll make it easier to access in the future. So here you will enter your email information, which should be your work email. Um, choose which language you want to receive your communication in, read and accept the login rules of use, and go ahead and click Submit. Then you'll be asked to create a password and you will be able to get started then with creating your authentication method. So in addition to your password, RAPIDS requires that you set up a secondary authentication method to help keep your account secure. You'll be able to choose what method you want to use, but I'm going to talk about the two most popular item options below. Text message or phone call is the most popular um, option. Most choose this option. Um, you will enter the phone number that you want to receive your codes, um, choose whether you want to receive a text message or a phone call, and then you will go ahead and um, RAPIDS will send you a code for verification purposes, and you can go ahead and start to log in to RAPIDS. If you are not able to bring your phone into your workplace, the backup code method may be the option for you. You will be given a list of 10 codes that you must keep in a secure location. Once all 10 codes are used, you would be prompted and be able to get more codes. Um, however, if you misplace that list of codes, you will not be able to log into your account and you will need to email or contact the help desk in order to be able to log into RAPIDS. So right now, I'm going to pull up my RAPIDS account and show you how you will go ahead and access help desk information. Um, here you see I have my RAPIDS um, account in login screen pulled up here. And if you've got your password, you could click on down here where it says forgot your password. Um, you will enter your email, which would be your work email, and hit continue and you'll be sent a email on how to reset your password. Um, if for that is not the issue or you have some you want to do change something on your account, you can go ahead and click down here on the bottom in the dark blue bar here where it says help. This will open another window and you will have some options here to manage your account. Um, if you still again have trouble signing in, you would click this and it provides information for you on how you can go ahead and um, an answer your question. Uh, if you still have issues, you can hit on contact us and they will be able to assist you as well. They usually get back to you fairly quickly. Um, so if you have any problems or concerns, they'll be able to take care of that for you. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go ahead and log into RAPIDS. As you can see, here's my work email. Um, my password has been dotted out for security purposes, and I'm going to go ahead and click sign in. Um, here, I, you can see I chose the text code method and I'll be getting a code. I've already received the code. I'm going to log that in and hit submit. And that is going to log me into RAPIDS. So that includes uh, the, the second portion of the video today of accessing the help desk. Um, now we're going to go to the final 
portion of our video today, which would be accessing RAPIDS user guides. So here I've pulled up the account here. This is our ATO training account. Um, but this mirror should mirror what you see when you log into RAPIDS. You'll see the graph here. It's just advising you how many new apprentices to date, how many are, are maybe active, completed, pending. So you have an overview of what's going on. You can click on any of these here for more information about those specific apprentices. Um, also, if you have any overdue. But for today's video, we are going to focus specifically on accessing RAPIDS user guides. So you can see here up at the top, um, there is you know, the apprenticeship icon, the picture icon here, and then you have RAPIDS 2.0 with a little arrow here, navigation arrow. So you would click that arrow and it's going to open up a box and give you a bunch of options here. You would click on RAPIDS user guides and it's going to open a window here and you will be have a list of the options and the guides that you have access to. The sponsor guide for RAPIDS is the one that most people have access and would like to use. Be pulling up here in one moment. Um, so here it provides more information on um, maybe activating your account, changing your password, um, internet settings, updating programs, adding a user, um, registering an apprentice, your wage schedules, canceling an apprentice, um, information you know, in here. Uh, so if you have any trouble with anything, certainly can reach out and try to use the guide and see if that would be able to um, provide you assistance. Um, if for any reason that that does not work, you can please contact your ATR for further assistance and they'd be happy to walk you through the steps you need to complete whatever it is you were trying to do in RAPIDS. Again, thank you for watching today and enjoy the rest of your day.